नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू इंडिया लार्जेस्ट क्विज ऑन स्पोर्ट्स एंड फिटनेस आई एम योर होस्ट नमन जैन फॉर टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ फिट इंडिया क्विज 2023 ट्वेंटी थ्री ब्रॉट टू यू बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द स्टेट वे वी आर स्टॉपिंग बाय फॉर दिस एपिसोड In India's northeast, West Bengal boasts a rich cultural heritage with significant contribution in arts, literature and politics highlighted by Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore. Known as the cultural capital of India, it's also the birthplace of Siddhartha Basu, the father of Indian television quizzing. The state offers diverse attractions from Darjeeling Tea Gardens to the historic Victoria Memorial and the Sundarbans home to Bengal Tigers. West Bengal has produced numerous sports legends including cricketing sensation Saurav Ganguly and chess grandmaster Dibyendu Barua. Famous for football, West Bengal boasts iconic teams like Mohun Bagan, East Bengal and Mohammedan Sporting Club. The historic Calcutta Football Club stands as the oldest football league in Asia, a testament to the state's passion for the sport. West Bengal also prides itself on institution like the Royal Calcutta Golf Club and Eden Gardens. From football to cricket, golf to polo, and traditional games like kabaddi and kokko, West Bengal's love for sports knows no bounds. And now let us witness the battle of wits of West Bengal's young champions as they join us today in this episode of Fit India Quiz. We have four wonderful teams from West Bengal ready to contest this semi-final. Remember only two of them will make it to the final. Let's meet them. Team number 1, we have Sri Roop and Anushka from DAV Bankura. Team number 2, we have Agni and Indra she is from Gitanjali Public School. Team number 3 we have Ayon and Jaskirat from DAV Durgapur and team number 4 Debijit and Kritika from DAV Raniganj All the best participants may the best two teams qualify for the state final let's get started with the rules of round number 1 get set go It's time for the first round of the quiz get set go In this round each team starting with team 1 will have an opportunity to select a topic of their choice. Remember, once a team has chosen a topic, it becomes unavailable to the other teams. After selecting your topic, a question will be displayed on the screen without any options. You can answer directly and earn 20 points. However, if you are uncertain about the answer, there is no need to worry. You can opt to view the options. Once the options are revealed, you will have three opportunities to choose the correct answer. If you guess it correctly on the first try, you will score an impressive 15 points. On the second attempt, you will earn 10 points and on the final try, you will receive 5 points. You will have 25 seconds to answer a question, whether or not you choose to view the options. There are no negative marks in this round and questions will not be passed to the other teams. This gives everyone a fair chance to excel. Let's get started and all the best. Round number 1 get set go the initial phase of the quiz but a very important one a good start might not necessarily guarantee you a win but it will put you in a pole position as you go into the next two rounds here is the grid of six topics so we have surprise sports equipment local olympics athletics and exercise team 1 dav bankura you will start off this quiz what's your pick so olympics You're going with Olympics. Here's your question. Which country is the sole one to have secured at least one gold medal in every Summer Olympics edition since 1896? Do you want the options? Yes, sir. Okay, here are your options. First pick for 15. So Great Britain. Great Britain will fetch you 15 points. What a great start to this quiz, DAV Bankura! Absolutely smashed this first question. Let's see whether the other three teams can better this. Okay, question for team number two now. The grid of topics once again. So Olympics is done. Gitanjali Public School. What are you going with? So sports equipment. Sports equipment. You will see a video first. and then the question will appear on your screen the video what 
वॉच इट वेरी केयरफुली यू कैन सी अ सेट ऑफ यंग एथलीट ट्राइंग टू डू समथिंग दे आर बींग ट्रेन टू यूज अ पर्टिकुलर स्पोर्ट्स इक्विपमेंट द क्वेश्चन फॉलोज आफ्टर दिस Okay the question on your screen in this video which sports equipment are the young players being trained to use do you want options yes sir okay the options are here first pick for 15 points 15 seconds left you have three chances what's your guess anjali Fielding gloves is incorrect. Next for plus ten. What's your answer? It's a fielding gloves. Time is over. No, it was not fielding gloves. You had two more guesses in the bag, but you took a lot of time. You need to be very quick in the first round in order to get those points. Starting blocks is what you are saying now. It's already been a lot of seconds after the question has been closed. It is correct. Starting blocks is correct, but you won't get any points in this round. But no worries. We have two more rounds left, and you can maximize your potential there. So no points to team number two. Let's move on to team number three. Olympics is gone. Sports equipment is gone. We have four topics left. What's your pick, sir? Surprise. You're going with surprise. Let's yes. see if the question surprises you or not. What word completes the title of the book Brilliant Orange: The Neurotic Genius of Dash, Dash Football, authored by David Winner? Looking for the blank. Do you want options? Yes, sir. Options, please. Okay. Here are your options. First pick for fifteen. Mm -hmm. Sir, option B. Not Portuguese. Next for plus ten. Option C. Not Spanish. Last guess for plus five. Option B. Not German as well. All the three options that you chose were incorrect. The correct answer is Dutch. Now, can any team tell me why the answer is Dutch? What would be the giveaway in the title of the book? There is a hint there. Brilliant Orange, the neurotic genius of Dash football. Why is it Dutch? Take a guess for no points. No one? Okay. So if you have watched football, the Netherlands are a very prominent team in football, and they wear the orange color, and that's why this was the hint in the title of the book. Team three unfortunately could not latch onto the hint and get those points. But as I said, two more rounds remain. Last question of this round to team number four, D A V Rani Gunch. Three topics are left for you. Sir, exercise. You're going with exercise. Here's your question. What form of exercise refers to strength training that utilizes an individual's body weight as resistance to perform multi-joint compound movements with little or no equipment? The timer has started. Do you want options? Sir, so option. Options. Here they are. First pick for fifteen. Only ten so seconds D. left. So option D. Not that. Plus ten. So Second pick. Calisthenics will fetch you ten points. Well done, team number four. D A V Rani Gunj. It is indeed calisthenics. You utilize your body weight with little to no equipment in calisthenics. The movement is picking up in all parts of our country as well as globally. It's a fantastic way to improve your body strength. So at the end of round number one, here are the scores. DAV Bankura team number 1 leading with 15 followed by team number 4 at 10 and then we have Gitanjali Public School and DAV Durgapur yet to open their account rules of round number 2 on your screen now welcome to the second lap in this round teams will pick their topics in reverse order starting with the last team each question in this round will feature six images out of which only four are correct for every correct selection your team will earn 5 points However, be cautious. If you choose an incorrect option, your score for that question will reset to zero, and your turn will end there. If a team manages to select all four correct images, they will receive a bonus of five points. So, when in doubt, it might be wiser to stop and secure the points you have. 
There is no passing of questions in this round. Each question comes with a maximum time limit of 45 seconds. So you'll need to be both quick and accurate. Good luck. Round 2, the second lap. Here is where teams can strengthen their position or if they haven't opened their account in the first round, come up with some good points. Because last round will have a lot of points on offer but you need a base to start off things with. Okay, so here is the list of topics once again. Kelo India, Surprise, Sports Business, Yoga, Healthy Diet and Sports Leagues. These are the six topics on offer but we move in the reverse direction. Team number four, DAV Rani Ganj, what are you going for? So yoga. You're going with yoga? After exercise, you're choosing yoga? All right, here's your question. List the Angas, limbs of Ashtanga Yoga as described in the Yoga Sutras. Your time has started. First one for plus five. Remember, four are correct, two are incorrect. Siddharana. That will fetch you plus five. Siddharana. Dhyana, plus ten. Two good picks to start off with. Do you want to attempt more or do you want to stop? So Samadhi. Samadhi, plus fifteen. Ten seconds remain. Do you want to go for full house or are you stopping? So stop. Stopping. Wise decision, I believe. You have got 15 points and now you are on 25. Good position to be in team number 4. If you hadn't stopped, what would have been your guess? So, sadhana. It's great that you did not go for sadhana because that would have pulled you back to 0 points. So, 15 pointer can be very crucial in this quiz. So, well done. Chose wisely team number 4. And here are the correct answers, out of which three were given by you. They are Pratyahara, Dharana, Samadhi and Dhyana. Okay, so 15 points to start off round number two. Very similar to round number one as we move on to the second question. Team number three, DAV Durgapur. Yoga is gone, five topics remain. Take your Sir, pick. Sports Leagues. Sports Leagues is what you're going for. Here's your question. List the nicknames of the English Premier League football teams. You can get started. Thirty-five seconds on the clock remain. Gunners, Gunners. Sir Gunners. I can sense a lot of discussion. Gunners is what you say. Plus five. Twenty seconds on the clock. The Red Devils. Red Devils, another good choice, plus 10. Are you stopping? Are you taking the risk? Sir, that's it. Yes, sir, that's it. That's it. Well done, team number 3, plus 10 to you. You took the safer choices of saying Red Devils and Gunners. 10 points. Do you know which football clubs are associated with these nicknames? No, sir. No, then how did you guess? So it, it was a guess. Okay, it was just a plain guess. Like you just yes, yes. you just thought, akkad bakkad bombay wo. Like let's just choose something. So okay, that worked out well for you. What if the time wasn't over or you hadn't stopped? What would have been your third guess? So yellow submarine. Thank God you did not go for it. <laughs> I thought you were going on that jackpot route, but no, it was not yellow submarine. So let's look at the correct answers. Yes, As you said, Red Devils, Manchester United, Gunners, Arsenal, we have Bees, Brentford and the last we have Saints, Southampton, all these compete in the English Premier League. Yellow Submarine is Villarreal which competes in La Liga and Old Ladies Juventus, Serie A, the Italian football club. So 10 points, both the teams on the scoreboard in this round. Let's move on to team number 2. Team 2, two topics are done. We are down with Yoga and Sports Leagues but you have a lot other on offer. What are you choosing? Sir, healthy diet. Okay, healthy diet. Here's your question. List the millets. As simple as that. Four out of these are millets. Sir, ragi. 
Ragi plus five. Barley. Barley plus ten. Kangani. Plus fifteen. You are on a streak right now. Twenty seconds still left. Okay, so we'll leave it. Going on. You'll stop. So we'll leave it. Yes, sir. Okay, fifteen points, team two. Again, you are also not greedy. Today the teams have been playing very safe. We can see three teams getting points in this round, which is not the case usually. Great decisions, all three teams. So, team two, Gitanjali Public School. If you hadn't stopped, what would have been your fourth guess? So, wheat. Wheat. That would have brought you back to zero. It's great you did not go for that answer and got that 15 points. Let's take a look at the correct answers. We have four of them, but three of them were given by you. So well done. They are kangani, barley, ragi, and sorghum. So wheat and lentils were the incorrect options. Hey there. Are you guessing the answers correctly but missing out on the rewards? Here is your 12th man chance. All you need to do is open the Fit India official Instagram page and check for the first clue in the stories. Then wait for the second clue which will be shown on your screen in the next few seconds along with a question. Your job is to call on this number and give the answer within 5 minutes and stand a chance to win exciting prizes. Here is your second clue. Time for the last question of this round. Team one, you have three topics to choose from. What's your pick? So, Kelo India. Kelo India. Here comes the question for Kelo India. List the teams that won more than forty medals at the Kelo India Para Games 2023. You can see six different states. Get started with your guess. So, Gujarat. Gujarat plus five. Haryana Haryana plus 10 UP UP plus 15 15 seconds left So Punjab Punjab will bring you back to zero You should have used the same line of thinking as the previous three teams you could have stopped at 15 you had already had a lot of points in your kitty but you were a bit too greedy there and you'll come back to zero odisha and punjab are the incorrect answers for this let's see which the four correct answers are you gave three of them properly it was uttar pradesh gujarat haryana and the last correct answer is tamil nadu so zero points to team number 1 let's take a look at the score card before we move on to round number 3 here is what it looks like dav bankura on 15 Gitanjali Public School tied with them on 15. DAV Durgapur in contention at 10, but leading with 25, having put up a decent performance in both round number one and round number two. Consistency matters. Is team DAV Rani Ganj with 25 points. The most exciting round, round number three, on your screen now. In do or die, we introduce puzzle questions. When you buzz it, you have two choices. Play it safe to earn ten points, or risk losing ten points, or take a risk to double the points, potentially earning twenty points, or risking a loss of twenty points. If the first team to buzz in answers incorrectly, the question will be passed on to the next team on the buzzer. Before providing your answer, ensure you declare whether you are playing for the default points or opting for double points. This round can significantly impact your score, so be quick. smart and confident so in round number 1 we had a question on starting blocks you could see the young athletes quickly trying to sprint away from the starting blocks the reaction time has to be as minimal as possible in this round 3 as well in do or die 
all four teams will have to be really quick on the buzzers but there's a catch they also need to have a strategy in place whether to go for double or to go for default they know their scores there are two spots in the west bengal final at stake let's get started with do or die question number 1 coming up on your screen teams hands on the buzzer which sport that uses a piece of equipment called club is governed by the organization whose logo is seen in the picture dav bankura has already gone for it bankura double or default sir double double what's your answer sir it's um, golf why do you say golf sir because it uses the equipment called club okay and any other hint that you see in the logo sir i think that's it's only. fine it's fine you will get those 20 points what an answer your reaction time was superb and you went for that plus 20 instead of plus 10 no points in the previous round but oh what a comeback 20 points here the logo had those small dimples that you see on the golf ball read about that later on once the quiz is done golf is the correct answer well done dav bankura as we move on to question number 2 on your screens now Pranati Nayak is one of the only two women from India to compete in which sport at the Olympics? A very helpful image for all teams. Only two women have competed in this sport from our country. DAV Rani Ganj has gone for it. DAV Rani Ganj, double or default? Sir, so double. Double. What's your answer? Sir, so gymnastics. Gymnastics. And who will be the other person? Uh, sir, I don't know, sir. Then why did you guess this? Sir, just Rogas. Rogas. Yes. No, like you just went for it double. Like it's fine if you get that minus twenty penalty. Sir, <laughs> sir, I, so I have just tried it. Okay. And that will fetch you twenty points. <laughs> I was just messing with you. The other person is Deepa Karmarkar, who barely missed out on that medal in 2016. Pranati Nayak represented India at the Tokyo Olympics, and the big hint. was the dress she was wearing that is what gymnasts wear so we have two double answers the race for the final is heating up question number 3 of do or die coming up on your screens now which host city of khelo india youth games is named after the ancient king raja bhoj talking about a kiyg host city raja bhoj dav durgapur has gone for it durgapur double or default sir default default what's your guess Bhopal Bhopal how did you work that out Sir by seeing the name i thought it's Bhopal Okay you thought it correct you could have gone for double and scored 20 points but nonetheless fantastic answer Bhopal gets its name from Raja Bhoj you'll find the big statue of Raja Bhoj outside the lake in Bhopal also known as the city of lakes well done team number 3 DAV Durgapur 10 points to you two questions remain there are 40 points on offer but we still don't know which two teams will make it to the final the thrill is there the excitement is there let's see what happens in the last two questions teams everything's at stake hands on your buzzer question is here Which Olympic sport uses a puck and has the phrase "putting the biscuit in the basket" for scoring a goal? Okay, Bankura has gone for it immediately. Double or default? Sir, default. So double, default? Double, 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 double. Okay, you have changed to double. What's your answer? Sir, ice hockey. Ice hockey. Double. Twenty points, DAV Bankura. That takes you to fifty-five. What an answer! Ice hockey uses something called as a puck, and you are quick on the buzzer once again. Now that puts you in the lead, and you have leapfrogged DAV Rani Ganj. I think that kind of assures you a place in the West Bengal final. What an answer under pressure, DAV Bankura. Well done. But here's one last question in this wonderful semi-final. Teams, hands on the buzzer. Which Kolkata-based sports team's iconic victory in the early 20th century is chronicled in the Bengali movie Egaro the 11? We have a local question to end things here. DAV Rani Ganj has gone for it. DAV Rani Ganj, double or default? So double. Double. So Kabaddi. Not Kabaddi. I was looking for the name of a team. No other team has gone on the buzzer. Rani Ganj will get a minus 20, and that brings you down to 25. But oh, you are still safe. But Bankura has gone for it. Bankura double or default? Sir, double. Double. What's your answer? Football. 
not football that takes you down by 20 as well i was looking for a team okay durgapur will make it interesting durgapur double or default sir double double says durgapur again what's your answer sir mohan bagan mohan bagan finally we have the correct answer it is indeed the famous victory 1911 ifa shield Mohun yeah. Bagan defeating East Yorkshire Regiment, and with that answer, D A V Durgapur, what a heist! I was saying that the semi-final was, was decided on the penalty met question, but Durgapur has pulled off a heist on the last question. Rani Gans took a negative, a double negative, and Durgapur, Mohun Bagan. I hope you are fans of Mohun Bagan and not not East Bengal. Yes, sir. Okay, Joy Mohun Bagan for you. Victory for D A V Durgapur and the two teams that have made it to the West Bengal final in stupendous fashion are D A V Durgapur with 40, D A V Bankura with 35. Rani Ganj is speechless. They cannot believe the blunder they have done. This this has to be the most thrilling quiz till now of Fit India 2023. Teams, what a blast you have all had. Great fight. This brings us to an end. of the most exciting semi final i've been a part of till now west bengal semi final living up to its name on the last question a lot of things happened not one not two but we had to go to the third team and they pulled off a heist for the ages dav durgapur and dav bankura will make it to the west bengal final from this first semis i am naman jain your host signing off for the meanwhile stay fit stay curious jai hind